one. Welcome to Two Balls and a Mic, episode 54. Yes, Had to sir. check because it's, <laughs> it's been a crazy day. We're going to go ahead and talk about Super Bowl. Super Bowl and the football season has come to an end. The Chiefs lost their title to Tampa Bay. Tom Brady winning his seventh, seventh crazy, ring. Crazy shit, fifth man. Fifth MVP in the Super Bowl. Going to go ahead and go ahead and finish the season off with whatever and anything that happened. This is my fourth one. This is I'm making up for what I didn't have and what <laughs> didn't finish last night. Uh, commercials sucked. Uh, hey, we did, the weekend man. sucked. Uh, anyways, we're also going to go ahead and talk about the football, el soccer. We're going to go ahead and talk EPL. There's also going to be a new uh, UEFA tournament that we're, is coming up. That yeah, starts in the 2024. Liga MX, Zlatan destroying. Ajax had the worst season, the worst couple weeks, days that they've had in a while. And um, I think that's it. What else, Chiva? Hell, this Super Bowl fucking sucked. Um, From the neutral standpoint, if you were all for the Bucks and you were betting for the Bucks and you were talking about Tom Brady, then you enjoyed it. You enjoyed the game. It was an ass whooping. What was it? Thirty one. It was thirty one to nine. There was no oh, touchdown yeah. scored by the Chiefs' high powered offense. Um, Can I just say, a couple years ago. That's a lot of slander for Rams QB that didn't score any any points in the Super Bowl. Yeah, but that Rams QB has also never won a Super Bowl. So I mean, to um, be fair, to be fair, it's a lot of slander for Jared Goff. I mean, I don't care about him anymore. He's not my QB. So I think we're gonna go ahead and start with the prop bets. Just to, just again, uh, this might be the best slash worst episode, just because I'm like fist deep and elbow deep into this. This should be a fun episode. Twelve pack then. of three ninety four. Should be oh a boy! Fun episode. Let's get it. Uh, shout out to uh, Three Falls Brand for this Ray Mysterio jersey. Jersey, <laughs> fuck. Jersey, shirt. Damn, you're um, up. Anyway, we did make prop bets, like a list of twenty five prop bets. Absolutely. And, and we said the loser was gonna have to hit uh, one of the speedball punching bags. And oh shit! Behind. You know what? I actually forgot about that's the part. I was like, yeah, I didn't that, think that we just the made bet. the prop bets. Like there was something else was to go bet, along yeah. with so it. So let's see. Let's see. We can figure out who won. I bet. Um, okay. First one. So first up. one, I'll go, just go ahead and read it. it. Was like the length of the national anthem. Who sang the national anthem? Do you know who those people were? I don't. No, I have no idea who those people but were. But I thought it would be under. I put under. You put over, and I timed it, and it was over. So you're up one nothing. Up one. Let's uh, let's write this down. Where are we writing it down? Uh, you got a notebook? Yeah, sure. Keep going. What else? What else is next? And we got a coin toss result. We both went with tails, and it was heads. Um, do you know what Pat McAfee bet? Like, I know he bet on the coin toss. Like, he bet thirty thousand dollars. I don't know. If I don't. Know. I don't remember about his uh, coin toss, but but he I, he did put his parlay up that he had Gronkowski scoring, Fournette scoring, Antonio Brown scoring, Gronk going for more than twenty nine receiving yards and something else. I don't think the Bucks winning. All right, so he bet five thousand bucks, and he ended up or three thousand bucks. He ended up making twenty five k on that. Yikes. You know, you got to have money to make money. So, all yep. props to him. All right, so. Um, so, right now, coin toss, we both put tails. So, you're still up one nothing. All right, so up one nothing. Uh, wait, we no, got, one one, right? I mean. No, you, one nothing, because I put. Un, uh, so, uh, I just tails. don't put anything when we tie. Got yeah. it. Game winner. You put bucks, I put chiefs. You're up two nothing. Two nothing. Hey, here we go. Game total, over 56, under 56. We both put over. So, so no nothing. points? All right, no points. Yeah, first what offensive, the fuck, Chiefs? First offensive play of the game, run or pass. I put a pass, you put a run. It was a pass. It was a pass? So Holmes, yeah. you got a pa- you got a point? Yep. All right, two to one. Here Would we go. Would there be a score in the first six minutes and 59 seconds? We both put yes, and the answer to that was no. So nobody gets a point. Still nobody to two to point. one, I'm I'm up. Team to score first. I put the Bucks. And, you put and it cheese. was Harrison Butker. Was Butker. So, which, by the way, the next one is is where I fucked up last episode because I was listening back to it. And I th- for some fucking reason, I thought it was going to be um, who, who, scored first. who scored the f- who just scored first. And I'm like, yeah. oh, it was Harrison Butker. But, you were right, um, but again, not a lot of people listen to us to so call me so out. So it was jersey out. number for first touchdown scorer. Mm-hmm. Uh, I put on. I put, put on. on and we're it, good. And it was an odd number. It was uh, Harrison Butker. No, no, no. First touchdown. Oh, here we go again. The first touchdown was by 
Uh, Gronkowski. Gronkowski, 87. That's right. Yep. Um, yeah, because the fucking Chiefs didn't score a single touchdown. Uh, so then you had first accept the penalty will be against. I Thank you for keeping Chiefs. track of this. I completely forgot about it. I put it. the Chiefs. Uh, uh, you put the Bucks. But I want to say, I don't know if it was for the Chiefs or not. I'm assuming it was for the Chiefs. Just cause yeah, got, just because they, they got, got all the fucking. Called. Yeah, that's just. Give they deserve it. I'll give yeah. you that 100%. Um, score in the final two minutes of the first half. Yes, uh, yeah. because that's when Tom Brady went down the field and, and they did the same thing that they yep. did in Green Bay. Put, they threw it with... I put yes, you put... Yes. Yes, you put yes. yes. I put yes. Put, put yes. It's three to two. Yeah. Same thing that Tom Brady did against uh, the Packers. Just throw it down. Hope for a pass interference. He got a pass interference. Mike Evans got caught up. Here's the thing. People are saying that, like, oh, you know, uh, Tom Brady's getting set up. The referees are helping him. <laughs> Everything that was called, I feel, could have been called. There were so. two that I feel like were a little soft. Mm -hmm. One was that holding call and the interception. Yeah. And then that passing interference, I feel like it was a little soft. I think he tripped by himself or he felt the contact and he flopped. Yeah. Uh, but other than that, like, they still got destroyed. By the way, if you're here, we're going to talk San Diego loyal. Sorry, I should have been in the intro. Oh, I sorry. went to the offices. Yeah, anyway. Got great news coming out of that. Breaking news. Um, uh, don't know yeah, how to talk about it. Anyway, well, the team scored three consecutive times, not including PATs. We uh, both put no, so I, I don't know if we got it right or not. I mean, it doesn't matter. We both don't get a point. Yeah. So it's three to two. I'm winning. Um, yeah, Patrick Mahomes, passing yards, oof. over 329. We both fucked that up. Yeah, we yep. put over. Tom Brady, though. How many did Tom Brady get? I don't know. Let me look it up. Was look it up, way Like, just a little pop. Look it up, Holmes. By the way, I've been watching Grey's Anatomy. Apparently, a lot of people oh. are into it. George's dad just died. Oh no! It was sad. George is still there. Had I had I had I not known already, I would be really upset at you. But I already know. Uh, <laughs> you piece of shit. Oh man. Uh, but Tom Brady uh, doing the best Tom Brady impression in the Super Bowl. Um, nobody said he could do it. Everybody said he wouldn't do it. That T-Mobile commercial with him is probably the greatest thing ever. Yeah. Um, you could you could just put Super Bowl stats. Um, I did. Nothing came out. No, nothing. Nothing came out. Uh, not a single fucking stat. Uh, let's go ahead and. There we go. I got it. Oh, cuantos cuantos hizo throw? It's loading. Don't blame uh, my Wi-Fi. So. All right, so we have uh, the Buccaneers, and Tom Brady oh, threw for it. 21 completions out of 29 throws and attempts for 201 yards. Three so not touchdowns over 300. And no interception. So not over 300. I put that it was uh, over as well. So, so no, nobody points. got a point. That was Total very yards, pointless. Travis Kelsey, 97. He did get over 100 yards. So uh, I said yes. I put yes, too. Okay, still three to two. Mike um, Evans over sixty three under sixty three. That's I mean that's I put under sixty three. That's, that's, I mean let's check it out. That's why we have the technology. Yep. And we have um uh, Mike 31. Evans thirty one yards. Did you Absolutely. put over or under? I put uh over. Would you put under? I put under. Oh snap! Let's three go. to three. three, three. Damn it! Woo! Uh, the length of the most successful field goal in yards over forty six point five. Uh, I put over, you put under. And it was? I think it was over. He kicked a 50-yarder, right? Yes. Uh, both of them kicked, I think, a 50-yarder. So I get the point? <laughs> no, I get the point. Fuck. Four to three. Damn it. And then we got... Team with the, the longest successful field goal. Chiefs. Chiefs. Yeah, it has to Chiefs. Be, yeah. So I get that point? I put the Chiefs, too. Damn it. Four to three. Length of Chief the longest winning. touchdown in yards, over 44. I put over 44 as well. So Nobody gets, gets a point. point. Team with the longest touchdown. I put Chiefs. <laughs> Seeing as the Chiefs did a score a touchdown. Yeah, so we're both, gets a point. She both Total QB sacks points. over 4.5. I put over 4.5 as well. So nobody gets a point. All Total right. turnovers. Here we go. Under 2.5. Over, over 2.5. How many turnovers were there? Uh, I believe there was the two interception. Interception. Those interceptions. So there wasn't a fumble. Two? So two. Oh, so under 2.5. You get that one. Yes, tied. So 4-4? Four, 4-4. Four. Four, four. Uh-oh. Number of challenges initiated by the coach, coaches. No challenges. No challenges. That was no over. challenges. All right. Uh, so we don't get that? Will, you Will there be a miss? Extra point? Yes. I put no. There was no miss. There was no miss. Let's go. Damn. 
color of Gatorade. I did not see it because they didn't that's, show it. That's they didn't show it. But I put any other color. What color was, was the Gatorade in Super Nobody Bowl Twenty One? It, it was, was blue. blue. We which both got it right. We both got it right. Position, Position to win. Super Bowl MVP quarterback. 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 I win. Fuck. Let's go. <laughs> God damn it. Oh man, that feels oh, great. No, oh no, I get to do exercise. Yeah. I mean, I am training for Coach Matt Hall for San Diego Loyal. Oh, We're going to go ahead and have uh, Coach Matt Hall on later on this week. It's going to be a really fun, 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 fun. It's not nope. the knob. Uh, really fun week um, with that. But, I mean, so Super Bowl isn't just about the game itself. Clearly, because the game itself sucked It's a whole Sunday experience. It's a whole Sunday experience. That's the best what I did you eat? It. What did you eat? Uh, barbecue ribs. From where? My dad made them. Oh, mm-hmm. um, what did you eat? Cast iron steak, oh. potatoes, chips. Nice. Um, I had a nice actually, potato salad. Think about it. I had a nice potato salad to go with it. Um, I want to talk about this 497 yards thing. So Patrick Mahomes ran backwards <laughs> for 497 yards, which is crazy. Like, uh-huh. When has that stat been ever fucking? I did who like. See, this is the things that we need to ask us, San Diego Loyal and uh, F1 Mastermind virtu- Virtual Statman. Like, mm-hmm. how the fuck do you guys come up with this? Like, who is thinking about it? Um, I think I might have been. This might be the last one in that box. Nope. It oh. is not. Oh, I was wishful thinking. I mean, the game started um, as as any game would start with a national anthem. I ha- did you know who those people were? I did not. Actually I did know. not know who the fuck those people were. It was beautiful. There was a poem. It was fantastic. The NFL logo at center field. Um, Patrick Mahomes did everything he fucking could. Yeah. There was nothing else that kid could have done. I say kid because he's younger than me. Is he as young as you? He's, he's older than two you. years older. Um, but yeah, I mean, there's, this, nothing, there's nothing to homie. This, this, <laughs> game was if i was talking to someone like if i was if, if we were talking about it on the podcast right we were going into like oh a week fucking whatever and we came up to this game and it was a 30 fucking one to nine game we would talk about it for two minutes and then go on, all right so like the game yeah. of the week and the sunday yeah, night and like exactly. this was just a pedestrian ass fucking super bowl across the board like it's like the super bowl got covid this this was literally like the, your parents whooping, like, the, the family parents and like at a family picnic. Mm-hmm. The adults beating the shit out of the kids in a volleyball match or something. And the kids thinking they were hot shit because they yeah. won it last year. And it's like, nah, <laughs> we, we, saying, let you, nope. we let you think. We let you believe. You know, we, we, we invited this year uh, Uncle Gronk <laughs> to that come don't. join us. Again, oh, Gronkowski, uh, arguably, I think, should have gotten the MVP. Uh, should have. Should have gotten the MVP. Two touchdowns. And not even that. He was blocking like a monster. He had a tight end clinic across where t- t- Travis Kelsey is the best uh, tight end, supposedly. Estevato just came in and were like, nah, like, nah, like this it's guy the playoffs, came in the league bro. without like, actually working out. He was the he was the twenty four seven WWE <laughs> champion in over the summer. Like, that's oh, that's man. how crazy that guy's twenty twenty was. Like, he had a WWE belt, uh, but Tom Brady. He brought New England to Tampa Bay. This was as boring of a fucking just, just slow death, yeah. like just a sleeper hold of the, this mm-hmm. game was over by the fucking third quarter. Like yeah. it was done, 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 done. I love how Tom, um, Tony Roman just kept it like, oh, maybe this is it. Like if, if there was any time for them to do it, this yeah, is going to no, be the time. That, that he kept it alive a guess, little bit. Guess, guess, oh, you, Tony, you're going to like, Jim was like, Tony, you're going to like this. Uh, there's uh, never been a 99-yard drive in the Super Bowl. Oh, wow. Well, this, this might be, be it, first. Jim. This might be it. And it just ends in a punt, a second muff punt. Like the fact that we're talking about like the a, punter like should tell 30, you. 30-yard punt. It's like, wait, like what was going on? And it was still 7-3 to three in the second half with seven minutes left to go. That's when Tom Brady supposedly threw a pick six, but it was a holding. There was a flag. It came back. Tyron Matthew was a hero at that point. Yeah, yeah the Honey Badger was going to go ahead and lock it down. This was by far the worst game the Chiefs had all season, and Sweet it way. fucking sucked that he was on the Super Bowl. That That's literally the worst luck you can have. Nothing was going their way. Calls weren't going their way. 
There was a yeah, not even calls not going the way they I think shot their themselves best, in the Their foot. best play was that stop on Ronald Jones on fourth and one. Yeah, that was their best play. play, a defensive play. But yeah, Tom Brady came back after uh, encroachment, I think, and threw a second touchdown yeah. to uh, Rob Gronkowski. Like Rob Tyree Gronkowski. Kill had a clear catch and he hit his hit him in the face mask. Hit him in the face mask. Like you're Tyree Kill, bro. Like this is a Super Bowl. Like what are we doing? Exactly. Travis Kelsey also tried as much as he could. Uh, two minutes left in the before the half, uh, they drove down Patrick Mahomes. Here he is. That, that was that was thirty yards. <laughs> thirty yards right there, Sekou Mio. Like just thirty yards going backwards. Yeah, he got Again, rid of the ball. A minute left. Tom Brady manages to get a drive going and scores a touchdown. Did okay. The fact that Andy Reid and his son went through the whole shebang the day before, you know, what happened, right? I don't know. You don't know what happened? What happened? Oh boy. Oh, like how you always surprise me with things. Well, this isn't, shouldn't be surprising to you at all, actually, if you actually did not so much Call of Duty. Uh, um, Call of Duty, yeah. We can't blame Call of Duty on that. No, I blame you. Uh, yes, this. Oh. Yeah. A goggle car, car crash. Yeah, and injured like a five-year-old little girl. DUI. Oh, like oh, the oh. day, two days, the Friday before they went over there. So, like... Yeah. Okay. So was that distracting? Nah. Was that, you know, it just seemed like Kansas City was just dis- undisciplined. The first, uh, entire first quarter, the it, first it half. Was, it was. It was completely uh, undisciplined. 18 seconds left to go. Tom Brady, vintage Tom Brady, throws it to where nobody was going to catch it. Like, Mike Evans was not going to catch yeah. this. Like, no. let me see if I can. Okay, here we go. Technology. <laughs> this year, 23 seconds to go. Here's the deep ball for this week. That's he did a flaw. not have to fucking do that either, though. Like, and that's the thing. Like, they were talking like, oh, like, you know, they, they, you never know. It's Mike that's Evans. He was going to die for it and, and, and whatever. Like, you know what? I saw this tweet. Uh, shout out to Drew. He tweeted. Drew he tweeted in like those funny, like different uh, capital and like. With the SpongeBob meme. SpongeBob meme. Me, 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 me. Uh, soccer's unbearable to watch because of all the floppers. <laughs> when you see this in the Super Bowl, shout out to you, man. That was a good. T- I love that tweet. This fucking scumbag fucking team with uh, Antonio Brown caught a touchdown. Like that's fucking insane. Antonio Brown caught a touchdown in the Super Bowl. Antonio Brown is now a Super Bowl champion. Like Mandama Kinsu is a Super Bowl champion. Leonard Fournette. L- L- Leonard Fournette is a Super Bowl champ. L- 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 Lashawn McCoy, McCoy is a two back to back time. Back to back. Back to back. Did like, he even play at all? No. He's the he was inactive for the last two Super Bowls. He didn't even play the last Super Bowl. He still has um, the ring. Absolutely. And 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 that's the thing. I was listening to uh Warren Sapp talk about that. Like what's better, the ring or Hall of Fame? Like the ring, everybody gets a ring. Like the Waterboy, gardener gets Waterboy a ring. Gets a ring. Um yeah. man, Robert Gronkowski. He could have had a third touchdown, honestly. It's insane. Had man. he just turned it on. Leonard Fournette coming in middle of the season. This team was just a bunch of rag scallywags that was on Tom Tom Brady's back. Tom Brady got heated too a couple times with With Tyron Matthew. Like like, it it got it got pretty pretty intense. mm -hmm. Um, I mean, the weekend sucked ass. The halftime show. Oh my this god! This will put seven million dollars of his own money into God knows what. I don't. Know. I feel. Like, I feel like he was just limited to anything he wanted to I do. No, I feel like he could have done so much if everybody's at home. Have a app. I guess they did the Pepsi can thing. Oh, take a picture of your Pepsi can, and now you're gonna go ahead and. Did you like any of the commercials by before we finish? Um, I, I, the super, talking about Super Bowl. I I, I honestly didn't like that many other commercials. Man. So there was the lemon one about if you if, if life gives you lemons and everything. That one was is falling, actually pretty funny. Falling down. You had the uh, the this one. Wife Ashton. Oh, it's not gonna actually play it. You should. I don't need to hear. Watch Mojo Lady. Watch Mojo Lady. It wasn't me. <laughs> I'll give you some of those. So the Will Ferrell one going into fucking this can't be copyrighted. They would love this. We're giving them more promotion. <laughs> it's not going to be copyrighted. So Will Ferrell going into uh, not Norway and punching a fucking hole in the globe. <laughs> Kenan Thompson. Is that Mulan Aquafina? That's that's not who that was, right? I don't know. I can sabe. Um, I really have no idea. There was this one with uh, Tracy Morgan. Tracy Morgan's <laughs> yeah. a funny guy. Um, fuck. more yeah, than funny. What the fuck? I, I, I feel legendary like fucking... I feel like there was way better commercials last year and other Super Bowls. The this Bud Light with all the legends of Bud Lights, like 
Yeah. I like that they had the little the little suit, the little bottles playing football. That was fun. <laughs> um, it, caveman. I thought that was Geico. Like that was Post Malone. That's Post Malone. That was right? Post Malone. You have a uh, Jason Alexander, famous from Seinfeld. Yeah. Who had a face? That's gonna be huge. There's gonna be a lot of those out there. Alexis Body with uh, Michael B. Jordan. Mm. I didn't even see this one. I watched the Super Bowl with my girlfriend. I did not find this uh, commercial humorous at all. <laughs> at all. Oh man! Imagine if we just worked out or like wanted to be healthy. Like, damn, we can be in a bathtub fully clothed for a Super Bowl commercial. This one was dope. The uh, the the Drake, the Drake one? one. The Drake yeah, one was pretty I, cool. I like this one, State uh, Farm. State Farm. State Farm had this ready for, for the State hey, Farm. Hey, the State Farm boy, State Farm guy is pretty fucking ripped. Like next to Drake, like Drake is like look looking all yeah. loose. <laughs> look at this fool. It's just like <laughs> yoked. Like <laughs> if if there was a giant fight between like uh, insurance mascots or spokespersons. Flo from Progressive is insane. Just like an insane person. So yes. you watch out for her. This fool, though, like, this fool can step on a gecko. Um, well, what else? There's that the, one the, girl from, from, what was it? Uh, fuck, I forgot. I forgot what insurance company it is. Flo from Progressive. That's who you're thinking of. I know that's who no, you're thinking of. No, it's not her. It's not her. It's not, I think it's from at and I'm not too sure, though. Um, the, girl. the lizard from Geico, AT&T girl. Uh, the lizard from Geico. It is AT&T, a, girl. AT&T girl, right? I don't know. Who, no? I know of, of an AT&T girl, um, oh, okay. in the commercials. Um, but definitely, um, the, let us know which one was your favorite Super Bowl commercial. Uh, so there was that one. I'm trying to think of the other one. There was other, the Wayne, Wayne's world, Wayne's world party on. <laughs> you, you never watched that? No. Nope. I wouldn't consider you a man of class. Um, <laughs> but yeah, no, that was cool. Cardi B, whatever. Sure. I care less. This, the, I, I have, we have to play this one. Like this one has to be played. Um, just because this is the moment I knew that we're going to win. When the commercial came out. A hundred percent. And this is why also I thought, oh, yeah, maybe he's going to retire. Um, because of what he says in the T-Mobile commercial. This is it. I think I missed this one. You didn't see this one? No. Bronk. What up, TB? What do you think my next move should be? Give it to me straight. Maybe it's just time I hang him up. I got one word for you. Retirement. If you retire now, you're going to be walking on soft sand in a week. Just come to Florida and feel the wind in your hair. Retirement is like winning another one. Maybe I'll even join you. On a spotty network, this is what Tom heard. <laughs> if you retire now, you're soft and weak. Just come to Florida and win another one. Maybe I'll even join you. Just go win another one. <laughs> like it's that easy, Kronk. Maybe it is. I still feel like I have a lot to accomplish. The goal <laughs> is to win one more. And Gronk's coming with me. And Gronk's coming I'm retired from retiring? Ma! Where are my football pants? Don't trust big decisions to just any network. That's probably Go the best one. Straight up. That has to be the best one. <laughs> and I'm not soft or weak either. T-Mobile um, is the leader in five. That had to be. That, that, no, that one's Okay, fucking let's talk about Tom Brady. Great. How fucking great is he? Tom Brady. Tomas. Tomasito like, is The thing is, the you goat. can fucking hate the guy. He's the fucking but goat. But you can. You got to respect him. Um, also, I do want to mention. I do want to mention. Mm-hmm. Shout out. And, and and this is this is before we move on to the greatest of all time, which he'll get his fucking due from us. Like, I was cheering for the guy. He made me cheer for him for the first time ever. He got it. He's not retiring. So fuck him. I don't want him to win another one to do it again. Um, uh, our friend and uh, guest of the show, Mr. Dallas McLaughlin, actually helped write this one. <laughs> really? <laughs> Your soap is. Ugh. And your body you wash is a synthetic detergent. But you're not a dish. You're a man. Switch to Dr. Squatch Natural Soap for men. About for men soap. who build things. Oh. Open pickle jars on the first try. You're a man of class. Yeah, all right. Hey. Anyway, uh, shout out all to right. Mr. Dallas They're McLaughlin. Help. Uh... They really are expensive. <laughs> Bro, like 20 something dollars or like 30 for two bars, two squares. Does it smell? Does it, does it... They smell nice. There you go. They're, they're rough you on go. your skin. You're supposed to be rough. You're supposed to get all that dead skin off. You're a man. No, no, no. Didn't you hear? You're not a fucking plate, bro. <laughs> all 
All right, but Tom Brady, man, mm-hmm. fuck. Like, ultimately, undeniably, the greatest of all time. Yeah, in football, in any sports, like, like you know, I saw a picture of him with the greatest of athletes, uh-huh. and someone said he's not even the best athlete in that picture. Who was in the picture? Kobe, LeBron, Michael Jordan. I mean, uh, if we're talking Mile, about like, pure fucking athleticism, yeah, exactly. Tom Brady cannot dunk. Yeah, uh, exactly. he can't sprint, but he is the best at what he, he does. He makes up for it up here. Yeah, exactly. His fucking wisdom, his. His knowledge of the game. It's literally like having Bill Belichick play quarterback for you. Like, it's a maldito genio way. Like, I don't know. Like, people, again, this was this was a year where it, it was a difference between if Bill Belichick was going to be, is the reason, or to, who was it? Do you think he was happy for him? 100%. Yeah, you no, so? definitely. Oh, he's not, definitely. He's like, it's like, it's like, it's like saying I'll your you son probably not go happy. somewhere else. The owners of the Patriots. They're uh, probably not happy. No. I mean, no, yeah, not happy, but like. Well, it's like oh. They're the ones that didn't buy him weapons when he asked for them. Yeah, he's the one that, that, you know, fucking Tony Romo is a national fucking treasure. Where is it? <laughs> fucking. Um, what is it? He caught one ball for one yard, was mostly a returner. And again, when Tyron Matthew got Brady a face full of Brady. Matthew. <laughs> He have an exchange. Yeah. And he what did you say, Tony? Him. He's like, listen, after the game, if you want to hang out a little bit, yeah. you know, I'd love to have yeah. you over. Me and Giselle would like to, you know, keep No, I don't think that's what he said. God but... <laughs> <laughs> bless Tony Romo. Oh, the pizza cut. <laughs> oh, the home phrase, bro. That, that had too to be savage him. for this. That had to be him the entire game. Like, it's interesting to think of. Look. This. This is the first time Mahomes really looks mortal. Like, it's crazy. Again, if he was still yeah. to lo- lose the Super Bowl and he was to retire today, is he would he, be... If he had to lose against someone, good thing it was Tom Brady. The greatest like, of all fucking time. Welcome to the club for every other single mm-hmm. quarterback in the NFL. Like, Bien vacunado. Like, Mahomes is still going to be the greatest. Mahomes... Yeah. Well, not the greatest, but he's going to be up there. Mahomes is still going to probably run the league uh, the next 10 years. Look, man, Patrick Mahomes is no Nick Foles. Simple as that. Simple as that. That's, you want to feel special? That's, that's how the cookie crumbles. He's no Eli Manning. Shout out to Peyton Manning. Uh, oh, Super oh, Bowl oh. Uh, Hall of Famer. Super Bowl Hall of Famer. I don't even know. Vince Lombardi made an appearance. Did you see that? Yeah. It was a fucking hologram. Mm-hmm. How far are we? All right. We're good. Um, <laughs> all right. Talk a short for a little episode bit. with Tony because, I mean, Tony's over here about to pass the fuck out. No, we're good. We're straight. <laughs> we are fans. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, we already talked about the halftime show. That shit was sus. That shit sucked. That shit was sus. Eject. Uh, how mad are Steelers fans? I mean, I, either way, they were going to be mad. If Le'Veon Bell won a fucking yeah, ring so, or Antonio Brown won who it. who pisses you off more, Le'Veon Bell or Antonio Brown? Antonio Brown because he's a scumbag. Like, at least Le'Veon Bell just went out of his own way and didn't play and did a rap album and, and you know. They didn't throw a um, fucking couch. Tony Brown was going to get arrested. <laughs> he ain't he's ain't, ain't su- that some shit? He's now a Super Bowl ain't champion? That what the shit. fuck? What? Uh, a lot of people were pissed that there was 25,000 people in the Super Bowl. Mm-hmm. A lot of people saying, oh, wow, I couldn't, I couldn't walk for my graduation when there was probably less than 5,000 people. Uh, I've, I have to feel for people like that, man. But we're talking about Tom Brady. This is what Tom Brady did after he won. You're talking about show Tom. Tom is over there in his own little world. That's where Tom is. Right there. Y'all see him? Just packing his bags. He don't don't care. Super calm. This man is a legend, dog. He's been doing it. (laughs) <laughs> Isn't that some shit? There was another one. I think it was Leonard Fournette. Oh, it's like, no. hey, this is what we do. Enjoy. It's like, yes, yeah, my first one, but it's your seventh one. Seven fucking rings. Seven rings. He almost has a ring for every finger that Jason Pierre Paul has. Oh, that's what <laughs> He's on a quest for one more. He needs one more. <laughs> he needs one more for every finger Jason Pierre Paul has. He got him a ring. Um, I mean, <laughs> a ring, but there's not There's not going to be... Yeah, Jason Beerball is not going to make it to another Super Bowl or two. Um, He'll make it next year, if anything. Joke. You want to know what happens with merchandise? What happens with merchandise? That gets sent over? This is what happens to merchandise. The new team? hats and shirts proclaiming them as champions. But have you ever wondered what happens to the losing team's merchandise? Yeah, what happens? Well, we're going to tell you anyway. Fox 13's Josh Cassio has the answer. Yeah, what happens? 
You've seen it with every Super Bowl win. Players and coaches quickly don championship shirts, hats, and other gear that's been pre-made and ready to go. Wow, you don't but say. But what about all that stuff made up for the losing oh, side? Yeah. What happens to it? This is a, a, a piece of, of football history. It's the girl from WandaVision. You haven't watched the third episode. You need to watch what, it. I'm a that isn't necessarily I heard, I heard thought of a lot. Sherry Rudolph is with Good 360, a nonprofit that partners with the NFL to ensure those unusable items don't go on the market. What do you think happens to them before they sell you? What do you think? What do you legitim legitimately think? Like, there's all the jokes. Get all that, blah, 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 blah. What do you legitimately think happens to all this clothes? They recycle. I think they recycle it. And just make new new clothes. Like, we're that's just what like, make the most sense. I feel like some, I feel like they're going to burn like them. Like, they burn and remake them or whatever. I guess. What do you don't want it to be? I, I don't want it to be like... I don't know. Just, just hand it out for free, or like to the homeless, or something like. Or, or pay shipping and packaging and send it over. Get and are donated to people and places that need them the most. We work with the NFL on a pre-vetted and pre-approved list of countries, and those goods can go <laughs> anywhere to, like, in Africa, Asia, aw. the Middle East. Between it's the two so conference so title true. games aw. and the Super Bowl, literally thousands of items will That's be shipped, including brand. You did it's good. It's you good. Did it. It's good, but that's so fucked. You didn't want it to go to poor kids in Africa. No, 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 not like that. Not like that. Not like that. But it's like it's fucked up. Here you go, guys. It's, not, it's the most noble thing that can do. It's good. No, no, no. Cheer me out. It's a good deed. Is I love it. I just wish my American. But it's like, oh, come on. You're giving them clothes. It's like. Really? Like, masks, like if, I, if I live in Africa and I, I'm a huge football fan. Okay. And I Tell saw me the, about it. And I saw a Super Bowl. Uh -huh. And then they sent me a close of the losing team that says champions. I would love it. I'm going to be pissed. I would love Honestly, it. Honestly, you know what? I would love it. Let's, let's go to Africa. Let's collect a bunch <laughs> of the shirts. Okay. Bring them back to America and sell them. <laughs> you take the shirts off of the backs of... No, 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 no. <laughs> That's the literally... Extras, the extras. Here. <laughs> There's no extras. How do you know? You don't know. She's so judging me right these, now. <laughs> these fucking even asshole. And hats and sweatshirts can truly be life changing and transformational for those who <laughs> otherwise. I didn't know they needed sweatshirts in different parts of the world like that. Wouldn't have access to these goods. Never before has it been greater than now because of the COVID 19 pandemic. So even the losing side still wins, so in a sense, even close. if that victory yeah. goes unseen. For the fans and whatever cool team doesn't have to take home the trophy this weekend, where's your my home's hat at? In Tampa, Josh Cassio, Fox 13. Let's just news. choose. I'm just going to choose. It's not Africa. I'm just going to choose Norway. These poor children in Norway in a school probably named their school mascot for like the Buffalo Bills for like three consecutive Buffalo years that they lost in the Super Bowl in the nineties. <laughs> um, so, so they think do the kids think that team won? And they don't get to watch the game. If you're a kid that gets one of these and contact us and we'd love to talk to you, do you think that Patrick Mahomes beat Tom Brady last night? If so, let us know. Um, crazy shit. Crazy, crazy, crazy yeah, shit, the Super Bowl. Um, at the end, it was a stranglehold. God, it was... It wasn't as bad as, as uh, Rams versus Patriots, I feel. It was still an all-right game. I wanted Mahomes to just make it a game at some point. That fucking play. Mahomes has the greatest incomplete pass of all time in a Super Bowl. Mm -hmm. The one where he was just diving. I don't yeah. know how he got that off. <laughs> Patrick Mahomes just like running for his life, man. Like that one. That one. Oh yeah. my goodness. Like all right, neighbors. Man, that's just crazy, dude. Like this guy's insane, honestly. Again, yeah. running for his life. Oh, the Mahomes. Got it away. He should have caught that. Oh, he should have caught that, bro. Hand, bro. That would have made it, say, 15, 16 to 31. Onside kick. You recover it. Go back down. You make it a still, it's, I think, it's still a two possession like, game. It I gives you still make it a game. It, gives it was you 13 hope. minutes in the fourth quarter. At that point, I was like, it's done. Like, there's no way. There's absolutely no like, way. Bro, it's he happening. threw the most impossible fucking pass. And it wasn't even a bad pass. 
And then the Pats just like what? Uh, the, the, here we go. Pats fucking the, the these folks. The Bucks just ran it down. They just ran the clock down, ran it, shoved it down their throats. Did you see when Tom Brady announced that he was leaving? There was two teams uh-huh. that were really, really interested in Tom Brady. The Colts? No. The Chargers uh-huh. and the Bucks. Nah, the Chargers wouldn't have gotten it. No, Tom I don't Brady, think so. I don't, like they, I mean, they I don't were think really so. interested. Only two teams. They were really interested, but like again, the that was a fumble. I think that was a fumble, and I think Mahomes got concussed straight up. I really think he got fucked up in that play. In the four minutes, I mean, too little, too late. Thirty-one to nine. Yeah, right. Pobrecito, Mahomes. The questions were like, hey, like this is exactly what um, Deshaun Watson's been doing and dealing with in the first couple of years. No, ha- having no O line. Uh, Again, True. Mahomes looking uh, normal. Uh, there is a lot of post NFL whatever, but we'll go ahead and I think uh, leave it there for NFL, right? What do you? Yeah. What else do you have? Because I mean, there's there's trades, there's movements with quarterbacks never seen before in the league. Well, I um, mean, if, if big news happen and stuff like that happens, of course we're gonna mention it, talk about it. Uh, but this was a hell of a season that we didn't it think was would a end. Great season. I I, I didn't think. It would, um, it would start, worry, we were start so middle, so happy end. when the season started. We're like, we get to talk football. Fun now. fact, according we're to like, it's over. sources, uh, the ratings were higher in New England and Boston than in actually Tampa Bay. <laughs> More people watched in Boston than in Tampa Bay. Uh, another Yikes. fun fact, Rex Grossman has a higher passer rating, 68.3 in the Super Bowl than Patrick Mahomes, 64.2. Wow. Uh, that's how bad he was last uh, last night. Godwin gave the twelve to Tampa to, to to Tom Brady, and uh, he said that to pay him back, you got to win a Super Bowl, and they did. Mm-hmm. Um, Josh Rosen to a one year extension, 49ers. <gasps> the return of the king, uh, the golden boy, the golden boy, the go- the gift, the gift boy, the gift man. You see, um, the fact that yeah, the Patrick Mahomes had a couple of, of plays, but look. Congratulations, Tom Brady, the greatest North American athlete, the greatest team sports athlete of all time, of all time in in America. No. Uh, great job, Tom Brady. I hate you again. I hope you never win anything. Your life is too perfect. You've won seven rings, five Super Bowl MVPs. You did what Pat, uh, Peyton Manning was the only person to ever do, went two Super Bowls in two different cities and two different teams. You came back, and you're going to try to do it again. I hate you. Stop. He might do it again. Stop. Go away. God damn. Open wide for some soccer. Some soccer. You had a visit to the Loyal store. I did. How did um, that go? So I was invited um, for a business meeting um, wow. that also just happened to be the same day as uh, the Chelsea uh, wasn't Tottenham game. You were. You were just busy. Uh-oh. Playing Call of Duty? <laughs> no, you're actually busy at work. Um, but anyway, uh, so I, yeah, we I was invited, and uh, we were going to go ahead and talk about what we're going to do, the plan to roll out some of our tickets that we're going to yeah. go ahead and be giving away. More details to come a little bit closer to the actual season. So we have matches, so we have games, so we have people, so we have blah, 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 blah. Great. Later on this week, again, we're going to go ahead and talk to Coach Matt Hall, uh, talking about the Loyal Select program and uh, you know what things you can do uh, to maybe – Prepare yourself for that. Maybe even the open tryouts. Um, that's going to be fun. I did see him, and we talked about having him on, so we're going to go ahead and do that. But we it's were talking fun. about this and that, and watching the Chelsea-Tottenham game was still 0-0. And then we've heard from several people that work at Loyal and at the store and interact with, like, Landon and stuff. Like, it's just the coolest thing ever to just have him see you walking by and and talk about soccer. Like, yeah, you know, of course. and. and I mean, right as American soccer player, I ever. had I had my moment where you know I was sitting watching the game and um, you know just drinking, talking business. No, no, no beer, no, 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 beer. Nice. no, no. I think actually they were tapped out of the keg. Nice. Those fools go through so many kegs. Um, get your loyal season tickets. Uh, let us know. Hit us up. Hit up. Hit up our boy Weston if you need season tickets. Uh, uh-huh. We're gonna go ahead and. Uh, Shout him out because he's the man. Anyway, so he's a, he's actually the Spurs fan. We were talking about it. We were watching the game, and then out comes Landon and just you know starts watching the game with us and passing. Obviously, they're they're very busy. Mm-hmm. Very very exciting news coming out of there coming soon. Um, but yeah, this the, he just starts talking soccer. I'm just like we're just standing watching. He's like oh like 
is Christian playing? This, this, like, oh, he's not, and this, this, and that. Um, he calls missed. Him, calls him Christian. Right? Calls right? him Christian. Right? You mean, you mean, right? You mean Pulisic? Oh, you mean, you mean uh, you know, the, the, the Capitan Ameri- America? The Captain like, America, Pulisic? Like the, uh, the next, the, uh, the Golden Boy. Yeah. Oh, he's, yeah. He's, he's Christ- like, is little Christian Wait, playing? Like, he, <laughs> Landon could text Pulisic in halftime, and Pulisic would read it in the locker room, and yeah. nobody would be mad. Like, nobody yeah, would be up. mad. Mm. You're in the same room with so, that. Man. So, yeah. So, I mean, it wasn't like he was just sitting down. We were just going back and forth too much. But it was cool just to get uh, just a little insight and just, like, watch mm. it. Just watch soccer with Landon for a bit. And that, that was that was pretty cool. Um, we did also hook up our boys, Taco Salvaquero, a little bit. Hopefully, hopefully that happens for them. Uh, hooked up our boy, uh, Adrian, the local artist, um, for some up-and-coming projects. Uh, but definitely, we're going to go ahead and uh, start talking a little bit more soccer. Now that football is done, we're going to start leading with soccer. And the USL season here locally, San Diego Loyal starting up. Hopefully, maybe even 1904. Maybe some. I don't even know. But we're going to go ahead and talk about it. Mm-hmm. Let's Getting talk. more in depth with the Liga Yankees. Talk about it. Anyway, so that game was midseason with uh, Tana versus uh, Chelsea. Chelsea ended up with the victory from a penalty 1-0 uh, from Jorginho. Oh man, that was what on a Wednesday, I think. It was on a Wednesday. Yeah, I think during the week, I think man, you played, and that was the week we won nine nothing. Oh shit, that's yeah. right. Against who? Uh, was hey, against Southampton. 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 Nine nothing. And you were talking about like, oh, we always struggle against Southampton. Do. Blah, 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 you look at the team historically, we do. And it was great seeing Manchester United score nine goals in, in a game. Like I, 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 this was one of those things where, like, again, I talk about like, oh, I like the like the old school teams and everything, like doing crazy scores and doing well. This is what I mean. If it means yeah. Manchester United wins nine zero against the poor Southampton team, <laughs> let it be. So, but right now, the most dominant team in the Premier League is by far Manchester City. Manchester City is it's kicking ass, killing they, it. They destroyed Liverpool four one, like four to one, and it was Good. crazy. Gundogan and uh, Phil Foden were just uh, the stars in that game. Gundogan missed the penalty um, in the in the beginning of the game when it was still zero mm-hmm. zero. Uh, then he came back and scored the one zero. Um, and it's, it's just crazy. Five points ahead of Manchester United mm-hmm. with an extra with game. an extra so game. Technically eight points. Yeah, I mean, if you think about it. I told you it's over. Like the, 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 y'all thought, y'all thought you were the, talking. Yeah, mad I don't think shit. I don't think City might y'all slip up. I just shit. hope Man United. I mean, honestly. I don't mind being second. Not this season. I don't mind it. If we get to win it, hopefully that'd be great. If we get first, second, third, so be it. Uh-huh. Qualify for Champions League. If you win Europa League, that's great. Sure. Uh, I think we're still in the FA Cup. I believe you guys are. Um, so. But no, I mean, if we look at City. City still has some games that are that are tricky. Uh, they still, they, I'm they're hoping, still in I'm, the yeah, Champions I'm, League. I'm, I'm hoping they focus up on Champions League and maybe slip up a couple of Premier League games. Um, you guys play against West Ham coming up. West Ham who's in sixth place uh, right underneath Chelsea. Our own boy, Jesse Lingard, who scored two goals. In his uh, that was a debut. mistake. That was a mistake. He's going to want to just... Uh, is there a clause? Do you guys he's, have a clause where he can't play against you guys? I don't know, but he's not going to be shitting with us. <clears throat> uh, just watch. No. It's one of these things like, is going to... No. Let's try again as he wants to go ahead and, 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 and come up and beat the shit out of y'all. So, so Man you played this weekend against Everton. First half, phenomenal first half. Phenomenal. Two nothing. Everton missed a chance in the last second, the first half to score. Open open shot, like he missed it. I text the friends like, you know what? If they can't score this, there's no way they, they're gonna fucking like catch uh-huh. up. Three minutes into the second half. Mm-hmm. Two to two. Yeah. I'm like, crap. I, yeah. I fucking like jinxed the team again. And then the boy, your and center then, mid, McTominay, came yeah, through with a header. Through. Good, good, good. It was three to two. Fantastic. I'm not even thinking. Wait, ninety fifth minute. Ninety fifth like, minute. This how they did it to Cholos. Mm-hmm. Like, that shit sucked. Ah, uh, it sucks. Should have should have been those three points. Would have been three behind City instead of five. Mm-hmm. Leicester still up there with forty three points. They're they're showing you up. You guys are a point behind Liverpool. Hey, hey, hey. Tuche. Tuchel. Tuchel, that's how you pronounce his name? Yes. Tuche. I mean, I say, yeah, no, Spanish. Like, see, like, it's the little things like that that, like, when I was watching it with the game with Landon, like, we were talking or just mentioning, like, oh, Tuchel. But it's not, like, it's a Thomas Tuchel. 
Do you call him Tuchel? Tu- I don't know, I call him Tuchel. Oh, tu- you Tuchel. Did? Tuchel. Because that's how you say it in Spanish, right? Yeah. Tuchel? Like, there's no way around yeah. it. Tuchel. I mean, he knows what you meant. 100%. Yo, Ilan knows that. Oh, he he asked me, like, because he came out, he was a nice guy, say hi. Everybody was he asked about me? No. Uh, everybody was nice, 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 great, great people. Fantastic. Megan, um, Lizzie, name dropping. Warren said hi. Uh, we talked talked F one. No, talked F one about definitely not. Talked F one with uh, Ricardo like for a quick second. Was he house Chiva? No, um, and then um, cool. They're busy. They're busy. That's no. All. Yeah. Oh no. Busy. Definitely. De- de- definitely. Um, but he Donald Landon did look at me directly and was like, "Oh, are you guys recording a pod today?" And making us a guys, guys. No, but he was looking at Weston and I. Uh, um, but you know, I, 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 he probably thought you were like oh, getting some of the stuff down in the car, and okay, um, I, I need to make my presence know around him. I guess absolutely. Uh, okay. Show your dominance. I said Challenge him, him, I said him to, to him last time at the press conference. But did he say hi back? He, he like stared at me and said, "Oh, you're the guy that carries Hector's bags." Oh damn, Hector's bags. Oh, hey, no. shout out Hector. Oh no. Um, what else we got here? I guess you are. Damn, oh, definitely. Uh, this this is box is empty. So, you have Ajax on here. Uh, Ajax. So I Ajax had a terrible, 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 terrible week the other day uh, as a team. Oh, what happened with loyal? Hey, what's up, loyal? Looking real nice at at the Charlie. What did Charlie do? Hey, qué hiciste, mato? Radius Children's. Hey, Charlie. Shout out Charlie's Radius Children's Hospital. Always showing nice. the love. Radius nice, Children's nice, Hospital. Nice. Ladies, Radio Children's Hospital is the bee's knees. The they're they're awesome. Uh, but our friends over at uh, the 90th Minute Podcast had a great TikTok that they threw up on their Instagram. So hopefully they won't mind. Sh- uh, shout out 90th Minute uh, woes. Recover, yeah. bro. Like I don't, some shit happened. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, this is what they had. Just remember Ajax. The first week of February 2021 was awful. They literally forgot to register the record signing Sebastian Haller to their Europa League Poor squad. Guys. One of their promising talents, Brian Brabe, is going to leave the club on a free. Mm. And one of their best players, Onana, has been banned for 12 months for a doping violation. Oh. Yeah, like, oh. that was a sh- that's a shitty ass week. Ouch. Ajax is not enjoying their 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 lives right now. Onana was actually linked with Chelsea for a bit, so I'm kind of mm, glad that yeah, that didn't happen. Was. So, few uh, Cameroonian. You know, um, you know what? Uh, they were making a big deal out for Nana, oh, saying no. saying that you know what, uh, African American goalkeepers are not appreciated enough. And time out, it. time out, time save. I'm a save. I know you right it's now. not African. It's not African American. <sighs> okay. You know what I meant. Yes, which makes it so much more funny. (laughs) I say African American because I'm from America. That's why I'm saying yes. Uh, Mm -hmm. But anyways, they uh, that they're not recognized as goalkeepers that much, or they're underrated, and this and that. (sighs) You know, now you got me thinking. I'm trying to think of like historically, historically good African goalkeepers. I I have a hard time. Coming up with some, I mean, not even that. Like, it's not even like uh, just Morenos, bro. Like mm-hmm. Dida for Brazil. That's Brazil, but yeah, you know Moreno yeah. still. Um, este vato, Steve Mandanda over in Lyon, mm-hmm. not Lyon, uh, Marseille. Then you have you know Tim Howard. Fucking came out on like that guy's fucking great. Like I, <laughs> props to Tim Howard. Yeah, but you know what? I think that, that that's a that's a valid point. Yeah, I mean. Shout out to Amal Knight, uh, founding goalkeeper for San Diego Loyal at some point. Yeah, true that. Yeah, Jamaican. Um, I don't know why I'm here. Oh, because we're going to go ahead and talk a little bit. We're going to have Cesar H. Football, Cesar Hernandez, later on this week. Our second. uh, Second two-timer. Second two-timer. But definitely a a, a great person to talk a little bit of Liga MX. And the thing with Cesar Cesar is we're going to focus up on Tigres. Since Tigres is pretty much bro. the first team 
to uh-huh. make the final for the Mundial de Clubes in yeah. the last 17 years. From the CONCACAF. Like, it's it's, it's insane. It's a, it's, of, it's a huge CONCACAF deal. Yeah. Like, honestly. They just beat Palmeiras. Palmeiras was the champions of the Liga Libertadores. So thinking about it, something we're going to go ahead and get into with uh, Cesar H. Futbol, uh, Cesar Hernandez, uh, that Jim Hader in the <laughs> office, um, is so if theoretically, if Tigres was in the Libertadores, if that was still a thing, would Tigres have won the Libertadores? Like, is that what it means? It's a different tournament? If t- hypothetically speaking, if Tigres wins the Club World Cup, are they the best team in the world? If they beat Bayern, I mean, if you beat Bayern, look. Bayern struggled today against the Egyptian team. The Egyptian team who was just there to have fun. That's what they kept saying. Like, we're just here to have fun. This is the team that beat Barcelona 8-2. Like, we're just here to have a great two time. You lose 2 nothing against Bayern? I'll take that. I'll take that any day. Any, I think any day can put up a fight. I think Tignac can score on them. Tignac is playing really well. Like Tignac really, can score on them, really, dude. Really, really well. Um, oh, our boy Orozco right there. Oh, so you want to talk about a little bit about Liga MX? Open wide for some soccer. Yeah, so we had Cholos playing on Thursday. Thursday. And Jueves. This mistake. Uh, they, lo- they ended up tying 2-2 two to two against uh, San, Luis. San Luis. They were in San Luis. So San Luis, is, so personally, it's not Pe- doing that bad. People are asking us about uh, what that Jonathan Orozco post meant. Uh, you'll find out. You'll find out soon enough. Soon enough. Anyway, yeah, San Luis uh, and Chivas and Chivas and Cholos. Um, <laughs> it looks like look. Fidel Martinez scoring another penalty. Yeah, two, you scored two goals in this game. Um, the only two goals for the Cholo side uh, ended up losing it in the last, last, last goal, breaths man. of the game. Uh, last the, second. Pinche golazo. Last uh, second. Felipe yes. Gallegos. Luis Felipe Gallegos in the 90th plus, 90 plus five minutes. Like it was a. Great low driven shot. There was too much traffic for Jonathan Nathan Orozco. Oh, Outside of the foot. Fantastic. Um, Querétaro also scored a crazy. Uh, there was who scored the crazy good goal. This was a really good goal uh, from Querétaro playing uh, playing against the estos vatos como se llaman the Pachuca. El Pachuca. Los Tuzos. Los Tuzos. Um, Ooh, the fuck is goalkeeper doing halfway down like that? I don't know. Yeah. Um, let's see. See, it, it, was good, it, was, it was a good. It was a good. Quiere tener la ganadora Pachuca. Lead for, for the Mexican league. La pinche máquina uh, sigue ganando. La ganó. Uh, esta, no, esa pinche jugador del de pinche Cruz Azul. And then boom, here you go. Cuál jugador? Boom. That's such a good play. Though. That's what I'm saying. Jugadón. Oh, jugador. No jugador. jugador. No jugadón. <laughs> like look at this. Yeah, that's a good play. Uh, toma, uh, toma outside in front of five people. It's low driven shot to the right of the bottom right of the mm-hmm. goalkeeper. Uh, Juan Escobar, ¿cómo se llama este? El, 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 el cachete, oh. ¿cómo se llama este güey? El, uh, you'll see him, he missed the fucking crazy, crazy one. Pinche portero no quería. El, el Corona, bro. Corona is, 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 is in form, bro. Yeah. Esta, güey. Not this one. This was an actual <laughs> goal. Um, this is stupid because they did, this was a VAR call. Yeah, and and they didn't allow the goal because of this fucking foul that happened way the fuck over Ooh, there. Like I don't like that. I don't. I, so I, I don't no, like that. I don't, like, I don't like let that, it happen. I don't like let that. it happen. Like it's fine. Um, esta güey, este pinche cómo se llama este borro? Uh, I'm not too sure. No, si es este cómo se llama. Let's listen to it. And tell us who it is. <laughs> I knew the site. Got the side meter, boy. Con toda la anotación y seguíamos dos a cero. Cabecita, cabecita, no increíble. El cabecita. Like, he I'm was actually. Lucas, fuck, killing it right now. Mm-hmm. Toluca uh, is is murdering right now. Pinche golazo de Sambuesa. Ruben Sambuesa. Oh, pinches. Apparently, Atlas is sucking ass, and like always. Santos won. Uh, they haven't scored in like four hundred and something minutes. Atlas always sucks, bro. Uh, um, they, they apenas suck. el América le ganó uno cero contra estos vatos. No convence Solari. No convence Tuzos. Este te está diciendo Diablos Rojos contra los Krakens. Ruben Sambuesa with a hat trick. Con un hat trick. ¿Cuánto que no se ha jugado? Ese que... 4-1? 4-1, I think. Pinche golazo. I fucking hate the guy. I, okay, if there's a player... If you ask me, there's a human on earth that you legitimately hate. It'd be Sambuesa. Why? I, uh, he almost ended Conejito's career. Uh, with Chivas. 
Like, he almost legitimately, like, on purpose, almost ended his career. And Conejito came back Fuck and yeah. Fuck playing yeah. great soccer. But Samuel is literally the dirtiest player you can fucking think of. I respect dirty players. Not this guy. This guy's. Pinche Ruben Sambuesa. That was that was a fantastic yeah. shot, fantastic strike. Uh, Toluca. She was ended up losing. So she was ended up losing. But right she now. was play uh, Leon right now. Leon right now. We're recording okay. on Monday, so they play like, Leon right I was now. Like, wait, what do you mean? Like we're trying yeah. to get this done, wrapped up, so you can go ahead and. Finish up your chivitas and uh, our chivitas. They're the gonna go ahead and games. play. The third, third game um, I get to watch. Um, but yeah, I think that's uh, that's a good place. Yeah, yeah, I'm down. So check out. We're gonna go ahead and have again. We have a full lineup this week. We yeah. have uh, Cesar H football. Cesar Hernandez talking. We're gonna we go ahead and talk health. about Tigres. Zlatan killing it. We didn't even talk about. It. We'll get to it fucking later. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and have Coach Matt Hall, uh, and we're also gonna have maybe a little surprise here and there later on in the week. Uh, let's go ahead and give a shout out to our sponsors with Tacos del Vaquero. Yeah, Tacos del Vaquero over on Third Avenue. Uh, definitely check them out. They have been. Uh, killing it lately and uh, Valentine's Day is coming up if you want to give that special someone some tacos shaped in hearts uh, hit him up because he's only doing a few of those so definitely hit him up on Instagram for those 100% we also have Fierce Beats that's exactly what you're listening to right now and you have uh, PB European Imports look this is a uh, mechanic mechanicos over in PB dope ass people check bro. them out 1885 Garnet Avenue uh, ask for Coach Alex Coach Alex, I just called that because he's the owner and chairman of SD San Diego International. Most good people, they will Fantastic. not rip you off like other freaking it's, mechanicals, dude. It's a local businessman. Help him out. Great yes, people. Uh, check him out and uh, catch you guys on the flip side. Yeah. Laters. <laughs>